Hello and good afternoon. Today I am here at Boyet's Grove to come check out this roadside attraction that you can come feed animals, a camel, even a zebra, and they have an amazing gift shop with lots and lots of character, Wild West, and even some classical 50s and 60s. I can't wait to take you on this adventure and show you everything that this place has to offer. Immediately, right when you walk in the door, there is so much to look at. Remember these? Classic cigarettes or chalk cigarettes. Of course, you can't find those nowadays. Lots and lots of different sodas. And let's head in to the High Noon Saloon. This is incredible. I am blown away already. The theming in here, they paid attention to like the bar tops, even the old registers, and look, even old toy guns, hot sauce, and I love this section. It looks like there's a standoff. I am not gonna get in the middle of this. Well, Sheriff, sorry, it looks like you're on your own. There's a whole bunch of murals on the side of the walls, and these are incredible. Look at the detail, and it goes all the way around the room, right next to where this little bar section is. And it looks like someone is really shocked to see us here. Right next to the paintings, they do have plaques just talking about who is here. Trying to see if I can get a capture of this plaque, but it says Judge Roy Bean. And of course you can't have the West without Wild Bill Hitchcock. Talk about taking a step back in the old West with incredible theming, lots of seating that we can come and hang out and play some cards. But of course, don't get caught cheating. That sheriff might not like it. Let's head into the rest of the store and see if there's any other new areas. Cause it's been quite some time since I've been here. Lots of different local items that you can buy, different sodas, and of course trinkets. So much to come look at. And I see a section that I have not seen. Look at this man. Looks like he's looking for some gold, panning for gold. But all he got so far was rocks. I love the effects that they put on this painting and around the sheets. Definitely looks like he did not have a good time in the Old West. Um, excuse me, sir. Did you have anything to do with his demise? The store continues all the way to the back and that's where the register is. And that's where you can go feed the animals and go see everything else that they have to offer. And oh my gosh, this room is right up my alley. Look at Marilyn Monroe here on the side. And then we have Elvis Presley, the king himself, performing. They even made like a little closet area with a whole bunch of memorabilia of Elvis. His records, and down here, lots more to look at. Looks like the Blues Brothers are even hanging out here. I could see myself kicking it here. There's even more photos of Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, and he's all over. And for all those little ones that want to come and play some classic arcade or go on some of the old classic coin operated vehicles that you can sit in, they've got them here. Look at this. So many different ones that everybody can come and enjoy. And a whole bunch of classic games. And look at the Batmobile with Batman right behind it. This is an incredible classic car. I have not seen this before. And it looks like they're still adding to this experience. Look at those tiki's. Those are really awesome. Here's a brand new room. Doesn't look like anything here is quite yet. There is a ladder way at the end that I can't go any further. And I do see one more classic car. Those are incredible. All throughout the gift shop, store, they have a whole bunch of different cutouts and paintings. Dumbo right here next to the classic claw machine. It says out of order. So can't be playing that today. And anybody that likes gumball machines or trinket machines, they have a whole bunch here for 50 cents. Lots of different ones to choose from. And they have a mermaid section. Look at that detail to the painting. That is awesome. And the manatees, there's even a statue of a mermaid down here. Even a little water fountain. And I see a turtle that's hiding way over here. So far, these new additions to this attraction is right up my alley. And this is just the start. There is so much more here. They have miniature golf, 
where you can feed camels, get ice cream, and I'm gonna show you all of it. This is a blast from the past. Look at the classic Donald that you can ride. I would love to get on that. I don't think it support me, but how cool is this? They still do pack a whole bunch of different oranges. So if you wanna come and get fresh oranges from Florida, this is a perfect spot. And they do send them all over the place. There is different crates back here with jellies, jams, and even coconut patties. Those are just some of the ideas that you can have brought to anywhere. The last room before we go outside and see the wildlife, the miniature golf, and everything else they have to offer is right here. You can come here, get ice cream, hang out, and it looks like they have a couple other things that you can get. Right after you pay for your admission, go in and feed the animals, which is $16.60. You can come over and see where they actually pack the fruit to this day. They said they still use this whole area. All right, let's head into the back room and check everything out. Oh my gosh, look at that. I walked into like a taxidermy place with a hyena, lion, and um, I think he's sleeping. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that, he's sleeping. Grizzly bear, and lots and lots of different deer, and a whole bunch of different stuffed goats, and oh my gosh, a rhino. I wonder if that's real. Now I'm not a huge fan of taxidermy because I think animals need to be protected, especially rhinos and lions and zebras and elephants. It's still really cool to come see it, but not what I would prefer to see. Passing through the taxidermy location, they have this whole back room over here. Gives you a brief history of the Wild West. engagement to take a government train to Rolla, Missouri and took young Cody with him. Having arrived at their destination, the two companions went on to St. Louis. This whole section back here was under construction last time I was here. That's how long it's been. A gentleman actually tried to give us a tour of this location, but there was nothing back here. It looks like they've done a lot of renovation of it. And even classic Coca-Colas. And hey, it looks like you've been here for a while. It looks like this gentleman's thinking quite a lot. What are you thinking about there? How it's really warm back here? Here's another look at the packing plant with all the machinery. Let's head back to the packing plant and outside to see the miniature golf and where you can feed the animals. Immediately we step back in time. There's a T-Rex and a whole bunch of different fossils that they have on display. Especially if anybody likes to look at dinosaurs, this is the place to come. And look at this. Whoa. I love that it's behind the glass. Kind of gives you like a story behind it. No way, a raptor or a baby raptor hanging out here. Lots and lots more fossils. Immediately I turned around and saw this dinosaur exing. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Whoa, the theming in here, all the lighting effect. There's a lot to look at, even up on the ceiling. There's so much up there. Before I go outside to the zoo and feeding area, I wanted to come to the very back of this building. It looks like they're still digging up fossils at this time. All right, let's head up these stairs and check out this action scene. It looks like they are fighting. Fighting to the death? Not sure over what, because there's nothing underneath them. But this is a good photo op, and you know me. I'm not going to pass up on a good photo op. Look how tall these are compared to me. I would not want to be in the middle of this, but you know me, gotta take a sick pic. It looks like there's two more rooms. Here's one way in the back, and whoa, that is humongous. I wonder how long it took them to build the T-Rex's head way back there. And the last room before we go outside and see what's out there, look at this oh it's feeding its babies right underneath it and she's protecting her eggs all right that's enough of being inside or for right now i want to see what's outside this door zoo entrance don't forget doors three four and two wonder where those are right when we walk outside looks like this is the first hole for the miniature golf he looks like he's chilling eating some of his ice cream says, have your birthday parties here. 
I definitely would. And one of my favorite animals. There's bunnies down here. Hey, buddy. Oh, I wish I had some feed. I would give it to him. I came over to say hi, and immediately the bunny turned around and was like, Do you have any food? I don't have any food yet. I'm sorry. I'll try to see if I can save you some. Looks like you do have some pallets over there, though. So you can definitely partake in those. Let's head over to the feeding zone. That looks like we're headed towards door number two. And it looks like we stepped into where they have their miniature golf. Right here next to me, it looks like there's hole two. And then another putt-putt course right here on the right. But look how cool this is. If we continue down the path, it looks like if I stay to the right, it'll take me to where the zoo is. Or if I go to the left, check out the putt-putt golf. I'll do that first before I actually head to the zoo. But wait, I see something that kind of reminds me of a horror movie. Jason, is that you? Let's head into the golf area. And wow, that is a very, very trippy painting. Really interesting. And it looks like it keeps going. Lots of different murals, paintings. Oh, the hitchhiking ghost. And even a wagon. I don't know if I'm allowed to get in that and take a sick pic, but I'm definitely gonna do it. Howdy partners, sick pic. Let's head down the dusty road. Look at some dinosaur bones that you can uncover or just play with while you're walking towards the zoo. The first animal that I see right when I come out the door is a goat. Hey, buddy. Oh, he thinks I have food too. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't have anything quite yet. Hey, how are you doing? You enjoying your day? It's really nice out here. I'm not sure where you get anything to feed the animals. I'm still walking down the trail to find it. One thing that does not sound fun is seasick Rick. Really cool boat, but I don't think I would want to be seasick. Never have been, because I don't get motion sickness on the open ocean. Before I continue down the path into like the shed area, they have Bigfoot's footprints. Let's see where this goes to. Looks like maybe a turtle. And I was right. Look at who's hiding in the corner. He's just hanging out, waiting for some grub. I found where you get your feed, right here in the shed little area. This is where you'd grab it, next to the bird that says hello to you. This is what they give you to feed the animals. Some bread, and it looks like some pallets, and then a whole bunch of veggies. We're gonna go down this trail and see who else we can try to feed. It looks like we're coming up to our first friend, a turtle. This time, I do have some food. Let me give you some. Hey, here you go, buddy. Oh. Yeah, you're hungry. Wow. Right next to the turtle, they even have horses that you can come and feed. All right, let's see if you'll eat a carrot. Oh, you do. You like the carrots more than anything I have in my bag. My friend didn't want me to leave him. He's like, hey, give me more. Whoa, he is definitely hungry. I walked a little further and there's even keys. They are definitely hungry. Running over here being like, hey, what do you got for me? My gosh, okay, you are gonna have to share. This is all I'm gonna be giving you for right now. Here you go. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all fighting over it. I see another exhibit that I've not seen here before. I wanna go check this out and see what's hiding in this cage. Oh my gosh, there is monkeys over here. Look, he's just hanging out. He's like, hey, are you gonna give me some of that? I don't know what exactly to give you. I'm gonna try to give you some bread first. Hey, buddy. All right, let's see if this first monkey likes bread. Oh, definitely does. That is incredible. Let's head to the back and see if we can find the camel. I do see llamas. So of course I'm gonna go feed them and I see a friendly goat that's already waiting for me. All right, let's see if my friend here, the goat, wants some pellets. Hey buddy, are you hungry? Yeah, you're hungry? Not sure if you're gonna eat this, but let's try. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, nope, nope, you spit that out. Maybe that's not what you wanted. All right, I definitely want to feed this llama. I'm really hoping that the llama does not spit at me though. Because of course, watch out, they spit. All right, let's see what I've got in the bag for you. Do you want this pallet? I have another one. Oh, yep, that's definitely really good. Oh my gosh, this keeps going and going. I'm following the trail. I don't see the camel yet, but I do see zebras. No way, there is two zebras here. All right, 
I don't know what I'm gonna give you, but I wanna give you everything I have in this bag. All right, you definitely need to be nice. Don't chase your friend. I'm gonna give you some and see if you wanna eat this. If you do, then I'll give it to your friend too. Do you want that? Oh, you like the cauliflower. I'm gonna give it to your friend, so do not fight. There you go, buddy. Oh, he followed me all the way to the end of his pen. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything else as of right now, but I will give you more. Don't grunt at me. And here he is, the camel. Looks like he's trying to clean the birds, or maybe they're friends. Hey, buddy, are you hungry? Do you want some food? All right, let's see. Do you want some bread? Whoa, <laughs> you're about to eat my hand. You are amazing. Of course, I gotta pose for a picture with the camel. Hey, over here. Look at the camera, smile. All right, here we go. There you go. Whoa, that was a good catch. Let's see if your friend can catch just like you. There we go. No, give it to your friend, don't fight. Oh, don't worry. I didn't forget about you, donkey. Oh, don't cry. I'll make sure that you get some feed. All right, you're definitely getting my pallets because I haven't used a lot of those. You want that? Oh. He's really enjoying that. I don't blame him. Why not eat as much as you can? As I continue down the path, it looks like I'm coming up to more zebras. I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were over here. But don't worry, I've got plenty of food. Wow, you two are really dirty. Hey, how's it going? Are you hungry? Do you want some? All right, I'm gonna throw this to you. I'm gonna throw it to you and that way you can catch it. Ready, there we go. Can you find it? Oh, oh. Looks like he found it. This is definitely one place I'm gonna bring Amelia in the future where she can come and feed the camel, the zebras. This is definitely an amazing experience and there's so much more hidden on the side of the building too. They even have pigs here. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Everybody looks like you're uh, taking a nap, especially on a warm day like this. I don't blame you. I'm gonna keep walking down this trail and see where it takes us. All right, I feel really guilty. These little ponies don't have uh, food right now. They do get fed, but looks like they're waiting for more grub. I'm sorry, I ran out. I didn't even know you were over here either. Next time I come back, I definitely have to hold on to some of the feed because there's this whole section back here. Parrots and a whole bunch of different animals. There is a lot of other people here, so they were smart. So it looks like they've been here before and they're feeding the ones that I forgot. So I'm so sorry, little buddies. All right, thank goodness. We're going back into door three. It says, don't forget two and four, but I want some AC. I'm starting to sweat out here. It takes us right back to the miniature golf course. All right, let's exit this and try to find the other doors. I should have read the signs because I would have held on to more food because there is this other entrance right here and this one is number four. Hello there, Gary. Oh, I can feel the AC. It feels so good. And this one says turtles. Don't see any turtles in there. I see a whole bunch of little fish and some coins, but no turtles. No way. Here is another one of those trippy murals. They've got them scattered all over the place, even like a 3D little room. And Lilo, what are you doing here? So many different fish tanks. This would take a long time for them to take care of. They must have a lot of people working here. And Pirate Cove. Oh my gosh. I am a huge fan of pirates. So you know, I'm gonna get up there and drive the ship. We're off to the seven seas. Go find that deck. As we walk up the plank, there's a pirate flag up there. And I see another pirate up these stairs. I'm trying not to fall down them. Look at this. Arr, arr, me matey. Give me your booty. Please do not touch. Oh, this would have been a really awesome photo opportunity. Gives you a better shot of the aerial. The pirate there is standing in that middle of the water. And then this gentleman just hanging out, enjoying his view. And it looks like they have a Fiji mermaid up there. She's seeing some better days. Now we can go out this door, go towards the zoo again. I want to get still some AC. So I'm going to keep going down this path. Go into where the aquariums are, where all the fishes are. It feels so good in here. The AC is definitely cranked up. 
Look at all these different fish that you can come in and experience and just look at. Looks like they're hungry too, but they don't give you anything to feed the fish with. There's so many different tanks here. And I like how they have this viewing section to come check out the great white. Da -dun, da -dun, da -da -da -dun. There it is, the pirate's booty. What I want so bad. I want to take all of that. All right, let's head back outside to the rest of the zoo entrance and where you can see a lot more animals. Immediately I came out and they have a huge, huge gator there. Try not to get the fence, but it's so hard. They've got multiple, which I don't blame them. Need to protect us. And there they are. I didn't see the turtles earlier, but here they are sunbathing. That is a lot of turtles. It would feel really good on a warm day like this to get in that water and then just sit out and tan. This is what I was talking about when there's so much here to see. Paying $16 to come and see all the different animals and feed them and just walk around this amazing attraction is totally worth it. it looks like I can't go any further because there is a wire here. I can see some little miniature horses off in the distance or ponies and then there is monkeys in this cage but I can't get any further because they do have caution tape on this side too. Luckily if I go towards the wall there is a, another side path here that goes towards those monkeys so you can get a lot closer. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going this way because that's the caution tape that I was just standing at but I'm trying to see if I can capture the monkey on camera. At first I was like oh shucks I just missed him. Nope here he comes. Hey how are you doing? I'm sorry I have no more food, but you are so pretty. How are you? No? Trying to get rid of those bugs. I'm really curious. Will you hold my hand? Hi. Oh, you'll hold my hand. No, you're not going to grab me in there. And it looks like I have to go back to the gift shop. I think I'm done outside. Not sure. Still exploring, but I'm making my way back to that entrance. All right. I thought the exhibit stopped outside and at the last room, but I was mistaken. Lots of pirates and even mummies, and they have snakes. Now, of course, they're not real, but still they show you some snakes in the area or around the world. And it looks like if we continue, we'll head to the tropical bird Avery. Let's head over here and see what birds we can find. All right, never mind. It says, do not enter. It looks like they are renovating this section and even says that the birds would bite. There's a look inside. They are definitely remodeling it. See, this is another reason for me to come back, check it out and feed the birds or come and try to pet some of them. All right, now it looks like that we're coming up towards the exit. Well, that's gonna do it for today's adventure, coming and checking out a roadside attraction that is incredible, and I've been here multiple times, and I definitely will be back in the future, especially with Amelia, so she can check out and feed and even play some rounds of putt-putt golf. But if you did like today's adventure, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button to get notified every time I come out with a future video, and give this video a big thumbs up, because there'll be more coming down the road.